Young home buyers today in large numbers view home ownership as beneficial for their long-term financial standing rather than, like they used to, just as the American dream. B of A's second annual Homebuyer Insight report released last week reports that 80% of millennial homeowners see owning their home as in a positive impact on their long-term financial picture, meaning it's gonna help them build wealth. Plus, 68% of those buyers view their first time home as stepping stones to their forever homes. Those that haven't jumped into the market yet are excited to get started, but are taking a thoughtful approach by improving their credit, building their savings, and really getting ready and buying what they can afford. According to the data, 86% of millennial homeowners say owning a home is more affordable than renting. True, almost half of the first time buyers still think that they need 20% down for a home and they don't. So 61% of current homeowners, including all generations, said if they could talk to their younger selves, they would tell themselves to start saving sooner and making their right inroads for their first time home purchase. The main takeaway from this report is that we still need to educate the prospective buyers on the down payment options because there's a bunch. As an industry, how do we collectively do that? Well, that is the discussion for next week, so be here because we're gonna share it with you. Now for Minding Your Own Business. Hey, when it comes to giving promotional items as a gift, it's important to keep them simple and conventional. At the same time, simple and conventional can still break the mold and become more creative as well. Here's a short list of tips for selecting your promotional giveaways. Number one, give business gifts that people are actually going to use. Imagine that, right? A tote bag, an umbrella, a scarf, a blanket. These are all things that everyday items that people use regularly and generally and just a lot of times can't get enough of. Number two, imprint designs and themes relevant to the event. If you're giving away items at an event, make sure that they're symbolic of the overarching theme of the event and tie into what they were doing, so that way it brings them back to that. Number three, limit the use of brand messages and logos. Depending on the item, branding can compromise the appeal of the gift. So if you're overbranding, they might not appreciate it as a gift. Number four, balance gifts with originality and taste. Don't be gaudy. When it comes to creative gifts, it's important to be original, but the design should also appeal to a wide variety of people and a large audience. Number five, offer different variations. Our logo is blue, for example, but we still do branded pink pens during Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And guess what? They went super fast. We also do a really cool Christmas pen. Number six, timely gifts. When the plastic bag ban took effect, we were at the stores handing out our reusable bags with a clever saying on them, People loved them and they were asking for, where do we get one of those? And actually somebody cried when we gave it to them. So it was really cool. In my opinion, other than the usual branded pen, promotional products can have a big, big effect in your marketing strategy and on people's lives. But there has to be a reason to hand them out and they should be useful, relevant, creative, and timely. That's this week's Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me again and have a great day.